Recently, God gave me a vision, and he told me to share it with you. I didn't see it clearly. I saw it in a shadow. I saw Jesus giving gifts to his church, beautiful grace gifts. They were sign gifts. They were ministry gifts. And as he gave these beautiful gifts to the church, I saw a great part of the church standing over to the side ridiculing the gifts, mocking them, making fun of them, belittling them. And I thought, oh, God. And then I saw what I considered an equally shocking picture. I saw other people receiving the gifts gladly. And then I saw them take the gift and put it under their arm like a little trophy. And I saw them carry their gift across the room like a little prize. And then I saw them take their gift and put it on a pedestal. And then I saw them bow down and begin to worship the gift. And I looked across the room and Jesus was weeping and weeping and weeping. And he says, my church, it is impossible, impossible to have a New Testament church without the receiving of and the releasing of all spiritual gifts. Do not applaud. It is impossible for a believer and the body to move in power and wisdom and knowledge without all spiritual gifts operating in the unction of the Holy Spirit. It is also equally impossible for spiritual gifts to operate with idolatry toward those gifts. Much of the church today worships the gift of preaching. If a man can preach, the people follow him. They go after the gift. That's been one of the greatest sins of idolatry among the people I've ministered to in the circles I've ministered. They idolize preaching. Many have gone after the gift of teaching with notebooks and recorders and all paraphernalia. They go after teaching. And many have gone with equal zeal after the gift of tongues. How many miss the anointing of the Holy Spirit trying to get what someone else has magnified? I do not find in my Bible the command to seek gifts. Desire them? Yes. Need them? Receive them? Absolutely. Seek them? No. Seek the Lord. Pursue love. Pursue God. And he gives gifts. How many live in absolute disappointment because they've been trained to go after what someone else has rather than what the Spirit does? 